This is Joe, the host of He Said, She Said, and I want you to know that there's two types of people in the world. There's those that are talking good games and those that are playing good games. You ever meet somebody who just had the gift of gab? I used to think that that was so cool where somebody could just talk a good game and make you feel inspired. You feel like you can live your life vicariously through them. You feel like when they've done something, you feel like you've done it too. And I think that that's a really good gift to have. But if you just have the words without the actions, what good is it? What good is you making the commitments that you've made and break them? What good is it for you to say all of these wonderful words to the people that you say that you care about, but you're not showing any actions? Actions speak louder than words. And it takes for us to be in a community that's going to hold us accountable to the words that we say. I can say I'm celibate all day. I've been celibate over two years at this point. But what if my actions don't line up with the words that I'm saying? Would you believe me if I just said, hey, I'm celibate, but then you see me at a strip club or you see me looking at pornography or you see me trying to pick up girls or sliding in DMs? It, it kills the credibility. We want to live as an example of what Jesus was. No, we're not perfect, but am I comfortable in my bad habits or am I repenting for the things that I know is wrong and that I'm continually working to get better each and every day? Do I have the right people around me that's gonna encourage me to be the best version of me? Or am I okay with just making empty promises? I promise I'm gonna get better. I promise I'm gonna do better. You know what? I'm sorry about that. How sorry are you if you continually do the same thing over and over again? And you're doing it over and over again with the presumption that, hey, I'll make it okay the next time. I'll just continually do it. I know that I'll be forgiven, so I'm gonna just ask God forgiveness before I do this sin. You see the habits? It's one thing to say all the fallen short of the glory of God versus I'm gonna do this because I know that God forgives me or that people will, will forgive me or that I can say this just to get this person off my back. I can say, I'm going to accomplish this goal next week. But what about when that person holds you accountable to that? How do you react to that? Are you resistant to the accountability? Them saying, hey, remember you said you were going to do this uh, next week. This is next week. Where are you with this? Where are you with your goals? Where are you with the follow up? The follow-up is important, and we cannot be resistant. We cannot afford to be resistant anymore to the follow-up that people that truly care about us will provide. It's to help you, not hurt you. So if we're resistant to that, understand that this is a battle that's going on between our flesh and our spirit. We're naturally going to feel a level of resistance there. I felt a level of resistance the first time someone held me accountable to something, but we know that that person has our best interests at heart. God placed them there for a reason to be able to help us. So if we're resistant to that or we're rejecting that, if we're rejecting that, that is a big issue. Because now we're saying, I'm good. I'm good with being where I am right now. But then we complain about where we are, right? What, what are we doing? What are we trying to accomplish? Are we trying to accomplish the will of God or are we trying to satisfy and be comfortable in our flesh? The choice is ours. Which one will you choose? I'm choosing to live according to the way that God wants me to live. And as difficult as it may be sometime, I'm thankful for the, the journey. I'm thankful for the ups. I'm thankful even for the downs because I know in the downs, eventually I'm going to get up. It may not be today. It may not be when I want it to be, but I know that he's building something in me to get me to where he wants me to be, not where, not necessarily where I want to be, but I pray that where I want to be is where, where he, he wants me to be. Who's with me on that?